welcome to Day in Life of the Abbey Abbey. I'm Lost Vinzel. Welcome to my channel. Today is still August 13th. No, it's not Friday the 13th. It is Saturday the 13th. So, can't say, watch out for the black cat. Don't walk on the ladder. Don't step on the crack. Don't put the hat at the end of the hat at the end of the bed. Don't break a mirror. And all the other stu superstitious crap. So anyway, can, I know what my mindset's on. I can continue on from what I was was talking about in the last video. So off to the left of the camera, I'm not going to show my crap on video because there's just crap over there. I have a dresser and three shelves of stuff. Let's stop at the stop. Let's start at the very top. The very top shelf is so high up I don't even use that at all. There is a, another um, body pillow. I use my body pillow. I don't know if my camera ever caught it before. I probably did see it in my one of my videos. But there's another body pillow up there. I'm using that for maybe another time. Uh, I don't know. I like to, you know, have you know spare things. Below that, there's a blanket there, and the cat likes to, you know, climb up my rowing machine here. It's an old rowing machine from the '70s, and jump from there to there where she has retreats, so that fat cat doesn't steal retreats. Beside that, there's um, it's supposed to be like a bed skirt. It goes with this one uh, comforter here, and it's old-time comforter. It has a like a goldish yellow background uh, to to it, and then there's like brown stitching of like brown roses, kind of like black roses. Um, on that's also tied to the first shelf, hanging to the second shelf. There's a dream catcher I made maybe 15 years ago. I've never really finished it, but you know, I have a dream catcher there. Hanging off there, there's some headdresses made out of, um, what do you call them, uh, safety pins, some big safety pins, there's beads and there's feathers on one, I didn't finish feathers on the other one, I didn't even finish both of them and, I don't know, I kind of lost, I don't know, I kind of, I, I don't know what you could say about that, I, um, kind of got bored of it I guess. Below that is the um, the third shelf, which is really could be the first shelf, the very first shelf, you know, the lowest shelf anyway. This side I have a nice, I have a dress shirt. I have still my toque and gloves sitting there. I got some yarn because sometimes I do my own um, strings for my shorts. I do my own. So I got black and I got brown and I got red and I got white there, yarn. Uh, beside that, I got a full comforter set I've not yet to open up, and you know, I don't really want to open up just yet. Above that, there's some craft stuff, um, another kind of dressy shirt, sweater. There's a spare pillow there beside that. There's another bed skirt that belongs to the top comforter of this one because I got three comforters here that I lay on because my bed is like sleeping on a gym mat. And there's also the brown uh, pillow. You know, I should try that. I'm not exactly sure what that one's for, but it's there. And below that shelf is the one dresser. That's the spare dresser. You got the long dress over there with the mirror. On this dresser, there's a lot of junk on your um, There it is, guys. There is a step uh, stepper upside down. Not stepper, but a little step stool anyway. And my fat rear end, it's like three, four years ago, almost completely bust a leg off of that because it's plastic. But I have wires in there. I have. I have string going around there and the wires in there and I had it just sitting there on that thing. It's been sitting there a long time. Uh, there's a first old fish day kit that's got screws and stuff of that and uh, glue for certain things. There's some wood glue beside that. Um, I have like a grease rag, sweat rag, whatever, you know. If I'm in my room and I'm eating cr my crap or something like that, I used to eat a lot of junk and I'll have a little certain rag, wipe myself up and, and make sure everything's clean. Uh, more craft stuff. Um, there is a bag of uh, stuff there for my little cousin. There is maybe up to 40 sets of earrings for her that I bought from the flea market. And I got good deals. I think I got like 10 bucks each. And saved a great deal because they wanted a dollar a pair. And I said, I will just buy the whole thing. How much for the whole thing? And it, eh, $10. So, okay, thanks. Then I go around and I see old friends, you know. My cousin knows him and 
Uh, he's working there, and she, uh, him and her are doing jewelry and just selling junk and stuff like that. And you know, junk to me, maybe not junk to somebody else, but happen to see another holder of um, sets of earrings. Now there's like 18, 20 to 22 there. I think 22. I think that's what it was. And I said, uh, oh yeah, that's good. She goes, we well, a dollar each and some of that. Or, and this one's 50 cents and that dollar each. And, okay, well, the difference between that one there, 50 cents plastic, and this one's like kind of like a metal. But will it make your ears uh, green? She goes, no, I believe not. And, and some of that. I guess it's stainless steel and stuff of like that. I said, well, I can't really test that and I'm not exactly sure in it. How much would you sell me all of them? She looked at me, she goes, all of them? Hmm. Looked at some of that. She goes, "How about uh, 15 bucks?" I said, uh, "I got 10 dollars in my pocket and maybe some change. How about 10 dollars?" She goes, "Well, since my husband knows you, you know, your friend, you know what? Sure, 10 dollars." So I got the whole thing, and she goes, "You want to hold it too?" I said, "Will that cost me an extra dollar?" <laughs> she goes, "No, no, no. You can handle it. Have it." And she put it in the bag. It was a bigger bag than one, so they're both in that same bag. Beside that is uh, a few games, I think a few games and movies for my little cousins because she doesn't have much of anything anymore because her dumb mother left it behind. Oh, she does watch these videos one day because she's dumb. She leaves all my little cousin stuff behind. She grabs her stuff herself and doesn't care about my cousin stuff. I mean, I bought a lot of good stuff for Christmas and her birthday and stuff like that. And just leave them behind. Who cares, you know? In life, you're supposed to make sacrifices for your child, not you make, not your child making sacrifices for you. But that's okay. Your drugs and alcohol is all paid for. You're good. You're happy. Who cares what the little cousin if she's not happy or anything like that? Who cares about that? Anyway, I'm not going into that again. So, in front of that dresser, I mean, there's there's stuff that's in the dresser. There's extra shirts. There's black shirts. I won't be wearing the winter. I mean, winter time. Won't be wearing the summertime. I wear them for the winter. And there's just a couple of shelves there of long sleeve, like long sleeve shirts and sweaters. And above that is some shirts, t-shirts and stuff like that, thin shirts. In front of that, there's, uh, there is two storage bins here. They, the, the bottom ones hold my winter stuff. The top one is used to hold my summer stuff. I don't have a closet. I don't have a walk-in closet. I bet you half the stuff will fit in the closet. I bet you I could fit all of them in the closet. I could do... The um, I could do the coat hanger for one outfit and have a secondary, you know, piece to that, like you know, a, a shirt, shorts that will go good with that. But you know, I don't have a closet for that. I mean, I could do that, even if I could, I could hang off another coat hanger off a coat hanger. I mean, that's fine too. But I don't have, you know, I don't have a. Uh, a closet so on top of that there's some couple split blankets and you know, sheets sometimes I switch over sheets and stuff like that it's only like one sheet's heavy and then it's lighter spare uh, pillow for my back you know because my back is really crappy yeah, I sit on my office chair the office chair is pretty damn heavy when I flip it over and get the fur out from underneath and vacuum and stuff like that and check out the wheels why it's not really rolling right try to flip it over onto the bed it's not that I'm weak, but this this office chair is heavy because it's got a hydraulic thing there too. Uh, like you, you can have it sideways, you can have it this way, you can tilt it frontwards and tilt it back. You can raise it up, raise it down. Uh, you got the armrest, you can raise it up each side. You also have your back that you can move back. You can have the back move up or down, or you can have it even squished in. It all depends, you know, what you want there. And what else was there? I'm not exactly sure what else is there. Um, I mean, what else uh, I could actually talk about? I think that's about it. Other than the wheels and stuff like that. And it's it's heavy. I mean, like I said, it could be... Not that I'm weak and stuff like that. It's just, it's a heavy you know, thing. And enough about that, anyway. Um, so I was talking over here. Yeah. Not really anything else. So I have... Also, uh, I got like my duffel bag and three different uh, backpacks. The gray backpack is usually when I'm riding around, and I have um, 
no, I have my bike chain in there and the um, fishing chair. And that's what I bring, you know, the video logs and stuff. Make sure my chain's with me because I want to go in the store or something like that. A uh, spare gray, uh, it's actually not the gray one. The spare red one is sometimes I got uh, my stuff in there. You know, I change the clothes with my cousin's house, do a video log there, you know, the other town over. And I don't know, you got some odd stuff in there too. Uh, just odd stuff like paperwork, paper stuff, and um, and I'm in the bigger duffel bag. That's what I usually go do when I'm going out shopping, get some canned canned cat stuff or some food, or you know reduce the clear stuff. And I take that and I know I can fill that because I can fill that really a lot because it's a bigger backpack, and that's what I like that stuff and it's heavy duty. And the duffel bag, no, that's of course, that's what I use when I go and visit my dad or go and visit another cousin. If I'm going to be there for a bunch of days, and I'll pack that and make sure I got everything. I mean, I don't, I usually don't forget anything. I'm usually well prepared on stuff. And I'm going to check my camera here, guys. Yeah, it's recording. Good, good. Um, that's it to say about that. That's anyway. To my left, I got a couple jackets and stuff. I mean, I don't hardly have cloth. There's a storage closet, but that thing's jam packed in it too. And there's the um, the roll machine. Behind the camera, there's my window, which is dark out there. See the rain, blah blah blah. I have a base, uh, a subwoofer thing that's not really working right now. I have the a little black box that has the amp in there. It's coming off my computer. I've got a uh, 40 inch TV on my my uh, desktop or desk I should say desk. And I have some wonderful music playing in the background. You guys can hear that. And I got odds and ends there, stuff there too. I should clean up a little bit. Just papers and envelopes and just crap. You know I gotta, I gotta clean it up sometime. Beside that, I got my red tower. I have my Xbox One there too. I know I play, used to play a lot of games on there, but not lately. I've been just kind of busy. Got a lot of things on my mind these days, and I should be, you know, gaming there and doing some video logging for you guys. You know, gaming videos on the other channel. I'm sorry, I've not really done any video logs lately for that, or you know, just gaming videos, I should say. There's nothing really more to say over there. There's a red tower there, and my Xbox One. There's like five games, I think, six games there, and my hats. You guys seen all my hats. Um, dresser there, mirror, and uh, some more envelopes and stuff I got to deal with too. Um, other than that, there's you know my stack of hats. I've got about probably 40 hats there. You guys have seen my hat, a lot of my hats. Stay tuned even for tomorrow's hats. And I'm going to just wrap this up now because i got really nothing more to say. If you guys like this video, please do hit the like button. Please subscribe to me. Make sure this video and channel might benefit you, might benefit me. Please do tell your friends and family about me. Thank you for viewing this video and whatever time of day you guys watch it. Hope you all have a nice day. It's morning and night. And remember, it's better to be Aboriginal than original.